Let's see how we look over there. Oh, perfect. This is the cup suit. We're going to cover the cup suit. Uh, the cups are, I think, of... The cups and the pentacles seem to have... There seem to be a kinder, gentler suit. Uh, and today we're going to go over the cups. The cups uh, are also known as the water element. And you, know, you can think of uh, also the heart element. It has to do with the heart. Just as the sword suit has to do with the intellect and the mind, the cup suit has to do with the heart. And what is the heart? What does that mean? Well, it has to do with emotions, has to do with intuition. It's kind of a female, if you want to say, if it's, it's more of a feminine type aspect to the car, to the, uh, there's a more feminine type aspect to the suit. Uh, also, spirituality and healing. So it's a wonderful suit, a very positive suit. It's not an obvious suit, though. There's something, this is something that happens in, with your inner life as opposed to your external life. The, um, the pentacles and the uh, pentacles and the wands are more external, where the swords and the cups are more internal. And specifically the heart with the, with the cups. We start with the Ace of Cups. Of course, the Aces are always beginnings. They're seeds. They're the number one. There's the push forward. They're a very active, pushing forward number, the number one. And uh, here we have the beginnings of, of, it could be a beginning of a relationship, beginning of something you love. It could be um, some, a new spiritual aspect to your life that you've been searching for, that you come upon. It could be an insightful uh, awakening, spiritual awakening. So there's something that's going to happen when you get the ace, that's always the beginning. It's always a powerful card. And here you see the hand of God. Uh, with the right, Rider Waite Smith, it's always the hand of God handing you the aces. And there, so that's a powerful card. And um, you see the dove up there in the water. It also is the water element. Water is, what is water? It's water is, you know, there's a lot of things under the water that can't be seen. And that's also indicative of the cup suit. Number two. Number two uh, numerology, with the numerology is uh, duality, is people, two things coming together. Now with the cup suit, it's two things that you love coming together. So it could be two people. It could be something that you like, that you find a new interest in. It could be a hobby. It could be a job. It could be a, a, all kinds of passions that are coming alive in the number two. Number three of cups. Here we see a celebration. The threes are a breakthrough. The threes are active. And uh, here we see uh, three people, three women celebrating. It's a celebratory card. So it shows that something that you, you spent some energy on, uh, interest in, is, is coming to fruition, the threes, and uh, you're celebrating that. So you see that what you started here has been very successful. The fours, again, here we have a fours. The fours are st stable. They're, uh, they're a kind of uh, a passive number, stability. Uh, fours are funny in some ways because stability is good, but when it gets too stable, it can lead to stagnation. And here we have a gentleman who's, um, he has his cups there. There's four cups. That should be a good thing. Uh, stable emotions. But he seems a little bored. He seems a little preoccupied. He's not really looking at the hand of God that's bringing him another cup. He's just sort of looking at the three of cups and uh, doesn't seem very engaged at all. And that's because the, the four uh, emotions, when they're, the emotions are quieted down, somewhere sometimes it does get a little boring. A lot of emotions can get, uh, I mean, a lot of emotions, when you're highly charged emotionally, it's not stagnation. It's a, it's a very active energy and very uh, kind of takes you away, you know, if you get to be emotional, if you're highly... Uh, uh, drawn to emotions. So he's he's kind of resting in this and he seems a little bored. 
Number five. Number fives are, of course, another. They're an odd. They're also um, an odd number, and an odd number is change and very active. And here we see a gentleman. He doesn't look very active. He looks not active at all. But it's an interesting card. I think in this deck, anyways, this dark sky. You rarely see this kind of sky. There's a dark sky here, but it's very blue. Here we have a very gray, almost a Payne's gray sky, almost a black sky. He looks very dejected. So there's a change in emotions here, a dramatic change. He sees the three cups, they've been turned over. So there's some disappointment. There's some sorrow. There's some sense of loss. And yet, if you look closely at this, you see the two cups are behind him. It's kind of like this gentleman is not looking, he's, he's just wallowing in uh, some, some negative emotions. When he has, there's two cups behind him where there is, there is positivity in his life, but he refuses to see it. And this is causing him a lot of angst in this, in this picture here. We go from there to the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is here as two children. Uh, one child is offering another child um, a cup with a flower, and there's flowers in all the cups. This is also known as the nostalgia card. Again, it's a six. It's it's a harmonic card. It's of harmony. It's of rest and respite. And here we see um, innocence in, in, in the two children. So there's a lot of innocence here. There's a lot of nostalgia with this card. There's a lot of... Um, support, supportive uh, family uh, available in this card. So this card is a very nice card to get uh, for support and nostalgia and innocence and love. It's a very loving card. So we go from this disappointment to, to a, um, looking back on the past or reliving the past moment or reliving finding family solace in this card. From there we go to the Seven of Cups. Uh, the Seven of Cups is again an odd number so it's it's an active card. Here we have a gentleman uh, looking over the cups and he has a choice to be made. He must make a choice and it's a difficult choice. There's many choices. You can see all the different cards, all the different things in the in the in the cups. Um, I was just reading a little bit of Robert Place's book on cups, and he said that this one, the center one, is uh, the choice, a spiritual choice. And uh, that's probably the choice that he should pick, is the spiritual choice. Lead with your spirit, lead with your intuition, lead with your heart. Uh, this is an interesting card. A lot of people think it's a troubling card because there's all these things you have to choose, and you know you could choose the wrong things, but. Choice is good. It's just that you have to be um, careful with that. I mean, you're, if, this is an emotional card, so if you pick something, you know, if you you let your emotions play with it, maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad. But I think um, I see it as a positive card. It's just that there's a lot of choices that you have. And um, another thing that I noticed in Robert Place's book, he talks about this could be a problem if you if you choose with your ego. If your ego is making the choice, it could be good. You should lead with your heart. Your heart should lead where the choice, what choice you should make. Uh, then we have the eight. The eights are gonna. We got the positive. We got the passive numbers. The eights are the even numbers. We see this uh, figure going off. The sky has got the sun and the moon. And it's a very pleasant blue. It's in the evening, and we have all these upturned cups. Uh, it suggested that his past has been fulfilling to some extent, but he has to move on. Why is he moving on? Maybe uh, it's it's the card indicates that there is uh, maybe a time for respite. Maybe he just needs to take a break. Maybe he will come back, or maybe he has lived a, a full life and he's just going on for more adventure. Or maybe his heart is telling him to move move on even though his cups have been full in the past. And again, this is a, an eight, so it's, it's, it is a stable card. Uh, it also suggests that this guy, is, this gentleman is leaving, but he may be back. Maybe he's off 
looking for um, something new, something different, but he'll be back. So it's not a bad card, but it is someone who's, who's moving on and searching for something. You can tell from the card itself. Next we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is also known as the Wish card. And so it's, it's, you're getting towards the end of the, um, the cup suit. And we hear a very stable man uh, full of cups, all these cups that are uh, around him, surround him. And uh, nines, again, are changed. That's an odd number. But the change has been good for him. He has had, had a lot of uh, emotional uh, experience and emotional success in his life. Um, possibly he is a spiritual man, possibly he is a uh, intuitive man, but he's been very successful. And as I said, this is also, it's one of the better cards in the deck, according to some people, because it's the wish card, the wish fulfillment card. And finally, we go on to the Ten of Cups, which is uh, somewhat reflects back to the two. We have this uh, culmination of a happy family of a rainbow and a happy couple with uh, two children and uh, celebrating their life together and celebrating the world that they live in. So here we have the, the cup suit, a wonderful suit. There are some interesting aspects to it, especially here. And this is an interesting suit, an uh, interesting card here, and uh, the choices involved. So here we have the, cu the cup suit, again, speaking of our emotional life, speaking of matters of the heart. And uh, also it is the water, known as the water element. So this has to do with a lot of heartfelt emotions and also with healing and spirituality, our inner life of intuition. So this is a wonderful suit to pick uh, when you have a reading. It's a nice, uh, nice suit to deal with those matters of the heart. That's it for the heart suit and the cup suit. Thanks for watching.